but I think there is an element of wanting to transition from public accountability to being able to hold yourself accountable to operate at an extremely high level. All of that being said, there's just been something on my mind over the last week. And so I wanted to put in this podcast episode, and that is the accountability gap, the gap between challenges or the period of time post challenge. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Jack Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ah, This is the 173rd time I've howled on this podcast, episode 173. And I appreciate you guys joining me on this episode. I don't say that enough on the front end, uh, and I should. But in this episode, uh, which I think I want to title the accountability gap but I want to frame it this way a lot of you guys that have been following me uh, for any amount of time you've probably you've probably seen me uh, take on different challenges uh, over the over the last couple of years uh, whether that be 75 hard or right now I'm doing a 21 day challenge or whether it was some type of big huge audacious goal that I had when I was in the field selling, it's just a, it's been a big part of my life participating in these challenges to take myself out of my comfort zone, to go after different things, goals, um, whether it be physically, mentally, or a combination of the two. And what I have found through my experience of these challenges, is number one, that I operate at an insanely high level in the challenge, during the challenge, in those weeks, months, where I'm absolutely stretching myself probably more thin and and going a lot harder than I've ever gone before. There's something about that challenge mentality that just absolutely fires me up. And I think specifically it's the accountability of participating in a challenge. You know, when I think back to 75 hard, you know, the fact that I was posting in Instagram stories every single day, as I was uh, doing two workouts a day, at least 45 minutes, one being outside and drinking a gallon water a day and sticking insanely strict to a diet on a single bite of a cheap meal for 75 days and reading every day and and all these different things. But I was posting about it in my Instagram stories. And so there was all this public accountability and just this fact that I was not going to fail. I was not going to post up Instagram stories saying, Hey, I forgot my last workout uh, yesterday. So I'm having to start over. It just wasn't an option. Failure wasn't an option because the accountability was there. And I've talked on this podcast a number of times about whether that's a good thing or not, whether it's a good thing that I needed that public accountability to get these things done or whether it's a, you know, an awareness of an area of weakness for me that I'm not able to keep myself personally accountable um, so that I need that element. And then that conversation always leads to, well, which is it? You know, is it the awareness of knowing you need this public accountability to get things done? A lot of me would say that as long as I got them done, I don't really care how I got there. But I think there is an element of wanting to transition from public accountability to being able to hold yourself accountable to operate at an extremely high level. All of that being said, there's just been something on my mind over the last week. And so I wanted to put in this podcast episode, and that is the accountability gap, the gap between challenges or the period of time post challenge. And quite frankly, it's something that I've struggled with. It's something that I haven't done a good job um, with. And I can probably trace that back through my entire life that if I have a huge goal and I'm, and I'm, I'm absolutely just working 
my face off to accomplish it and just operating at an insanely high level. And then the goal is reached. What happens those next few days, those next few weeks, those next few months? The easiest example is with 75 hard, you know, 75 hard. I lost like 11% body fat, lost a ton of weight, got just absolutely shredded up and felt incredible. And then the day after 75 hard was completed, I really just went right back to living the way I'd been living before and nothing had really, really changed inside of me. And as much as I would have thought in those days leading up to the end of that challenge that I would continue this on or modify it in some way that was sustainable, I just didn't do it. And so what I've realized and identified is this period of time that you have after an intense amount of accountability, whether that be public, just because you're posting it online or whether that be, you know, someone specifically that is holding you accountable to the things that you ultimately uh, need to do to achieve that goal or to finish that challenge, complete that, that task. When that goes away, what happens? And I've come to the realization that personal accountability, being able to hold yourself personally responsible to do those things on your own. Yeah, that's great. But what if we just put a process in place where you're surrounding yourself around a group of people that are all going through the same things that are all participating in challenges are all trying to level up and are all ultimately trying to become the best versions of themselves. And by surrounding yourself with those people, can it create the same level of accountability? Can it create the same environment that I thrive in during challenges? And, and for me, this is such a huge passion project of mine. And, and for those of you that have been following me for a while, as I've been putting out you know, stuff on social media for two and a half years now at scale, thousands and thousands of pieces of content. As you know, this is episode 173 of this podcast, the other podcast with 70 something episodes, daily vlog, weekly vlog, all of it was intended to help people level up in their lives and to provide value that people could actually take and then apply um, into their respective lives in whatever way that that makes sense. Back to the actual topic of this podcast, which is that accountability gap, I truly believe not only for myself, because selfishly, I know that this is what I need. But I know so many other people need a group need a community need a tribe that can hold them accountable, whether that's through encouragement, whether that's through challenge, whether that's through just being there as a soundboard when things are difficult and you're going through obstacles. I mean, those are the environments that I feel like I thrive in. I love those vulnerable, raw, transparent environments where you have people coming together from all different backgrounds, from all different, you know, socioeconomical um, uh, places, from different countries, from different, just an insanely diverse group of people, but all are committed to growing and are committed to embracing discomfort and seeking discomfort are committed to doing whatever in the world they need to do to become a better father, to become a better mother, to become a better employer or employee. Um, those are just the environments that I love to be in. Uh, so with that guys, this is episode 173 of the sales wolves podcast. As always, I'm Tyler Jack Harris and I am a sales wolf. Uh, ooh!